Good afternoon students. In this video um, I'll be covering the quantifiers. Right? The quantifiers um, we use them with nouns and they are some, any, a few, a little, a lot of. So nouns can be divided into countable which are those we can count and uncountable those that we cannot count, right? So, most of the countable nouns have plural forms. For example, apple, apples. Chair, chairs. Computer, computers. Man, men. Woman, women. So those are plural forms. But, on the other hand, uncountable nouns, they do not have S, they do not have plural form. That's the big difference. If we understand these two, then we are going to understand this one as well. Some. Some means unos o unas, algunos or algunas in Spanish. And some is used in affirmative or positive sentences. For example, there are some nuts. And pay attention, nuts is in plural. A few means unos cuantos or unos pocos. And is used also with plural. Only with plural. No singular is admitted or you can we cannot use a few with singular. So, I would like a few potatoes, please. Me gustaría unas cuantas o unas pocas papas. A lot of. A lot of is muchos o muchas. It's similar to many, right? There are a lot of biscuits. So, we use it in positive sentences. Any, mean, any means algunos o... Ninguna si la oración es negativa. Y alguna si la oración es pregunta. Like in this example. Are there any eggs? ¿Hay algún? No. Huevos. Are there any eggs? Negative sentences. There aren't any bread. No hay ningún. Hmm? You see the difference? Any is used with questions and in negative sentences. So this is important, this is the use, you have to study this one in order to get, the, to get you know, um, a good grade in the quiz. Now going or moving to the uncountable section or the uncountable part. Some is also used with uncountable. There are some sugar, and pay attention, no S here. Hay un poco de, aquí varía, here, the meaning changes. Un poco de, acá es algunas o algunos. A little is in positive, positive sentences or affirmative, oraciones afirmativas. I would like a few potatoes with a little cheese. Please. Un poco de queso. A little. A lot of. A lot of is also used with Uncountable, mucho o mucha. There is a lot of meat. Hay mucha carne. Any. Any is the same thing as here, the same meaning in both cases, in countable and uncountable. Negative sentences, the same use, and in questions. There isn't any cheese. No hay nada de. Here, the meaning changes a bit. Nada de queso. There isn't any cheese. So once, once you um, understand basically the use of these quantifiers, once you learn these, it's really easy to use them in a sentence. Right? This is basically the explanation of this. If you have questions in regards to this one, I'll have a practice of, 
of the quantifiers. For example, for example, here there aren't some or any. Here we have to pick some or any. So here we have errant. Es una oración negativa. When the sentence is negative, the answer is or the correct answer is any. Because if we go back to the grammar and we go to any, any is used with negative sentences. So if we go up back to the sentence, there errant. Errant is negative, therefore, the one that we have to use here is any. Do you know some or any Americans? Here is a question. In questions, we have to use, we must use any. Because any is used with negative sentences and with questions. We need some more coffee or we need any more coffee. First, we determine the sentence. This is an affirmative sentence. We need is affirmative. And we go back to some. Let's go back to some. Some is used with affirmative or positive sentences. So the right answer here is some. So I'm going to leave this practice up to you. Um, if you have doubts, please, you can, we can have a Zoom uh, meeting to explain this better if the video is not enough. So if you have questions about the quantifier, some, any, a few, a little, and a lot, please drop me a line and I'll be more than glad to clarify any question that you may have. Thank you so much and have a wonderful afternoon.